Hey guys and girls, Synergy here and welcome to a brand new week and today we are going to be talking you through the Oryx challenge. At the same time I'm going to be giving a few different shout outs to a few different channels that I believe deserve a bit of recognition because they are very good players and they are very nice people to play with at the same time. So the first shout out is going to be going to Trinity and then it's underscore and then it's Noah. So N-O-A-H. Now he's actually a Twitch streamer and what he does is he plays Trials of Osiris for free and he will help you all out. So no more needing to pay for a carry and stuff like that for you guys and girls. He is a very good player and a very good team. Also, the second shout out is going to be going to my buddy Houndish. Now this YouTuber is absolutely insane PvE content. You'll find a lot of stuff on his channel including different perspectives of the challenges himself. Um, very similar to me. Right, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to explain how we're doing this as well. So we're having four people on the platforms. The person on the platform with the relic above it does not actually need to go on it. You'll see that I actually do just so I can help take out those knights as well. Because we've got the DPS and that's not a problem. So what's going to happen is you're going to kill all your four ogres as normal. You're going to take all your knights out as normal as though you're actually doing the no knight strat. From then, you're going to move directly into the centre, into the relic as you can see here. Sorry my voice is a bit groggy. I'm literally absolutely full of cold and I'm pretty sure a lot of you are. So the next part is, once you get into here, you kill the vessel first. Then Oryx will slam. Once Oryx has slammed, you need to start DPS in his chest. And once you make him stagger, this is what you're going to do, as you can see on my screen right here. You're just going to kill all of the ads that spawn. Eventually, Oryx will then do this, and he'll go directly to Shade. Now, when you're on this, you want to get rid of your front ads. And secondly, get rid of your knights, which are up here, for example. Now, I'm bringing out my heavy machine gun. I'm coming over to the right, so I've took the right for all out. You do not want as little thralls as possible to get through so it goes right left left right if you're on the outside that's your spawn order of the thrall so you'll know exactly where to take them out and where they'll be spawning so you can take them out without any issues of any of them evading you okay once you get into the shade it's just very simple start a dps in like a madman obviously jump if he is slamming as well you do want to jump away from him but as you see here we're just going to finish him off a bit of a bad snipe by me <laughs> now when you can you can actually use your simps just be careful as well that you don't get confused between what platforms you're going on as in anti-clockwise etc clockwise a lot of people do get confused with that so you're going to see the relic runner is over to the left hand side in the corner right now and he is jumping up on that corner one which means that N-O-M-D-R-O is going to be up second and I'm going to be up third now you can see the relic on the fourth plate isn't actually up so yes you do not need that person to be up I'm actually throwing a solar down here through that a little bit earlier but we're gonna rinse that ogre and then you're gonna see directly opposite me Light Eater Knight right there. We're going to take that Knight down. That one's been killed. So I'm just going to help with this one as well. If you are on these front two plates, you're actually in what I would call the danger spot. So in other words, as soon as that ship comes in, you're also going to have the ad shooting you as well. So it's very useful to have your Warlocks on those front plates. That way they can use their self res if anything goes bad. Okay. So, same again, DPS the chest, and get rid of the ads. And all we're doing here is just killing the ads again, so we're basically rinsing and repeating the process. Man, I sound like shit. Do-do-do-do. Okay. 
So when you do get to this stage as well, when you are actually taking out the ads, the main important ads are obviously going to be the front because it's going to take the back for all quite a long time to actually get to the portal. So like so, you can see me just taking a few out here. And I'm going to get rid of these two. I'm going to leave the sniping up to them. There we go. We might have let one add in there. So again, on the right first, as you see on my screen. And then it's left left. Now you can see there's an ad already escaped in. I just take him out and I'm throwing a solar grenade down. Just as an AOE grenade. Okay, so we're going to work on Oryx himself. He's actually coming in and yeah, I've got myself res so I'm just literally going to go to ham a little bit. Not bothered about him actually slamming me here because if I die, I'm pretty safe anyway. But for the other guys who aren't the Warlocks, you just want to jump around like madmen when they come in. Just have to watch my health there a little bit. Okay, now we're going to go back to our plates. So what I've done in this video is I've actually showed you with staying on the plate if you are on the relic. Also I'm going to show you, like for example now, if you are the relic you can do this and you can go up and help your titan up top. So we're going to take that blessing of light and we're just going to rinse these ogres down as fast as physically possible. Here we go. Ogre number 2 down. And number three should be around about here. Yep, there he is. Okay, so we're keeping all those orbs nice and compact. And we're going to take the last ogre right now. There we go, he's been staggered. What we're going to do, while we're up the top, we might as well help with the light eater knight. Unfortunately, the ship gets in my way there. One guy dies. Self res was available. Okay. So this is the third run. Now this is exactly why the Warlocks are useful at the front. It's like I said, if you have the Warlocks at the front, they'll be able to sell res and they will obviously be taking a lot of damage, both from the ship and the ads that are on the front spawns. Okay, so again, we've staggered him and we're just rinsing and repeating, killing a few of these ads. Now, whatever ammo that you see on the ground as well, guys and girls, you want to look out for that ammo, because as soon as you get into shade, you want your quickest route to picking up some ammo as extra, basically backup. So like here, pick up all my sniping ammo, I'll take out some of these thralls while edging myself forward, and I'll take that heavy ammo at the same time. So now, I'm going to move on to the right hand side. I do apologise about my voice, but unfortunately this cold has got me really, really ill. Okay, so you can hear that sound there, that means he's going to slam. So if you are on the outside, you need to be jumping just in case. You can see I don't, because Warlocks, let's face it, were overpowered. For stuff like this, anyway. Here we go. And we're just going to plant that DPS on to the left. Give the call outs if you see where he is. Just give a proper call out. Don't just say he's uh, around you. Say something like he's to the left, he's to the right, he's behind or he's in front. That will help out your team to get that DPS on him nice and fast. So you can see this is going to be on the last run. So one is up. We're going to take this ogre down nice and fast. You can see the titan's already helping with the guy that's the floater. Now you can see the light eater knight. I absolutely missed that first shot. But yeah, we take that down. Now I'm actually looking this way. It's not my knight, but it doesn't help. Well, it doesn't hurt to actually help the other guy on the other side at the same time. Now watch these purple orbs from the ship. We're actually going to get away from them as soon as the relic holder's got it. There we go. Well, the has got it. We're going to work on this vessel right now. So everybody's going to be DPS in that vessel. Uh, take him down. Oryx has already slammed, so we need to move a little bit faster on this one. And just start DPS in the chest. There we go. Chest is DPS, so what we're going to do now is work on the ads yet again. 
like I said, the 16 orb strat is just a rinse and repeat. From there, we've worked on the adds, we're all going to detonate four. Make sure all four of yours detonate, so you should see your name four times like you see mine pop up just like that, and all of my teammates as well at the same time. Doesn't really matter if two die on this one as long as you've got four up. Okay, so there we go. Now we're going to move forward. And we're just going to finish him off by DPS in his chest. So, are you ready to see my rewards from my first time doing this? I woke up a little bit late. Because I'm so ill. I'm ill. Somebody take me cold from me. It's not fair. Oh, I got the ship. The Argonaut Carve. Argonaut Carve. Whatever you call it. Okay. So there's the emblem. And we're just looking. There's the ship. And let's see what other rewards I get from this one. So I get quite a few weapons and an artifact, etc. So let's have a look. We have a free 20 pulse rifle. Nice. And what have we got? We have a free 20 artifact. So, not the best loot for me, but I'm happy with just the ship and the 320 primary. That'll do me. There we go. And that's it, guys and girls. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace out.